amblyopia is a defect in central vision that is caused by abnormal visual input early in life. Amblyopic patients have normal peripheral vision. This is caused by the reduced M and P cell size in the lateral geniculate body and denotes a loss of both monocular and binocular cells. Vision testing for amblyopia is done with isolated optotypes with the crowding bars, which are the one letter with the vertical bars all the way around. That is the standard way of testing amblyopia. The treatment of amblyopia is to treat the etiology whether it be strabismus, anisometropia, bilateral high refractive error, or deprivation. The treatment is to force the use of the amblyopic eye. And PEDIG is the network of pediatric ophthalmologists that are conducting pediatric ophthalmology clinical studies, many of them amblyopia in nature, throughout the uh, country and the world. Nystagmus. There is a nomenclature by the National Eye Institute, which is called CMAS. This is the classification of eye movement abnormalities and strabismus. And it denotes three different types of nystagmus. The first is infantile nystagmus syndrome. The second is fusion defect nystagmus. And the third is spasmus nutans. Infantile nystagmus syndrome was previously called congenital nystagmus. The hallmark of infantile nystagmus syndrome is that onset is in the first month of life. There is an unknown etiology, but there is often a family history. Another hallmark of infantile nystagmus syndrome is characterized by an accelerating slow phase of the horizontal jerk or pendular nystagmus. The OKN fast phase is to the right and right gaze and to the left and left gaze. It also dampens on convergence and increases in the intensity with fixation in the distance. These patients often exhibit a null point head position and the nystagmus does not change with occlusion or disruption of fusion. Infantile nystagmus syndrome is often associated with ocular albinism, achromatopsia, and some forms of strabismus. Fusion defect nystagmus was previously called manifest latent nystagmus. It also has an early infancy onset and is benign. The hallmark of fusion defect nystagmus is it only is observed when there is monocular viewing. The eyes are perfectly still when both eyes are fixating. When you cover one eye, then you see this fusion defect nystagmus. It is a horizontal jerk with a fast face toward the fixating eye and a slow face toward the covered eye. It is almost always seen in association with esotropia, and a null point is usually an A deduction with a face turn. It is the opposite of infantile nystagmus syndrome by decreasing the velocity of the slow phase on recording, and that is what distinguishes it from the infantile nystagmus syndrome. <laughs> 